Assalamu alaikum, Samir Soge with you. I generally buy kits in order to learn something new and when I'm done learning, I modify the kit to my requirement. A while back, I had bought a Google AIY voice kit. Using that, I made a voice control DSLR rig, which means I can control this camera using voice commands. From the leftover box and speakers, I made a toddler tutor with which you can teach kids using audio basic things like uh, alphabets, numbers, colors. From the leftover microphone, stereo microphone, I wanted to make a baby audio monitor. I struggled a lot with it. For some reason, this wasn't working without the kit hat. One fine day, I stumbled upon a Reddit post which had the hint as to what I was doing wrong. I connected this thing to a Raspberry Pi Zero and made it into a baby audio monitor. Let's see how it works. So this is the connection of the AIY mic board with the Raspberry Pi Zero. The power goes to 3.3 volts of the Raspberry Pi Zero. The data which is the blue wire goes to pin number 35 of the Raspberry Pi. It goes via a 52 ohms resistor. The mistake I was doing before was I wasn't using a resistor at all due to which it wasn't working. This white wire which is the BCLK goes to pin number 12. The green wire which is LRCLK or uh, left right clock goes to pin number 38 and ground goes to ground. The next thing we have to do is enable I squared S support in the Raspberry Pi kernel. We have to refer this guide of Adafruit uh, which is meant for enabling I squared S mic support into the Raspberry Pi kernel. This is meant for their board but uh, it would work for any other I squared S mic. They have given the connection for their particular board. We don't need that because we have already done our connection. Then we have to follow all the procedures which is uh, listed here. There is a difference in the procedure for Raspberry Pi Zero and any other Raspberry Pi. So you have to follow the procedure for Raspberry Pi Zero as we are doing here for Raspberry Pi Zero. After you complete this process and do the testing, you have to install VLC in the Raspberry Pi. This is our Raspberry Pi. You have to install VLC with sudo apt get install VLC. I'm not installing it because uh, it's uh, already installed on my system. Next, we have to run this command in order to output the audio from the microphone onto the web interface. The codec is MP3 channel S2 because this is a stereo microphone. It's HTTP. We have set the port number as 8080. So when you run this command, you will be able to open up a browser and access the IP address of the Raspberry Pi colon 8080 slash out.mp3 and you could listen to the audio which is coming from the microphone. I have tried a lot and various method to automate this at boot time, but I have failed. So what I do now is I open up a screen and I run this command from there so that whenever I get out of the Raspberry Pi still this uh, microphone is available on the web interface. Let's uh, try this command out. So the IP address of the Raspberry Pi is 168.100.119. Colon 8080 slash out.mp3. So when you click play here, it will output the audio of the microphone here on the system. So let's uh, try an actual demo. So this is the Raspberry Pi Zero with the AIY mic attached. I should uh, probably make a proper housing for this because this doesn't seem right for kids and toddlers. Try this thing out on my phone. Since my kids are not around, I'll have to simulate crying. So let's listen to my crying because who doesn't want to hear crying in stereo?
there is a little delay in the audio and uh, as the days progress the delay increases so it would be better to uh, restart the script to reduce the delay thanks for watching and do subscribe